Oh no, who could have seen this coming? Hey guys, for those of you who haven't seen the news, IGN just announced it a little while ago and it's going around on the social medias, but Paramount has canceled the Halo show. And all I can say is, well, you get what you deserve. After the absolute maniacally good reception that the Fallout show had got, I can only imagine what the Paramount executives must have been thinking when they were seeing just how much positivity there was around that show and then looking at the reception for their show. I can only hope that they realized that they had fucked up, but having worked in the industry for the time I have and having seen very ridiculous blunders be committed by those in charge because so many people won't tell them no that they'll keep going until disaster happens. I am kind of on the fence of whether they actually learned the lesson and they're just looking at the numbers and being like, oh, this is not viable to keep going. Once again, the argument that a ton of people have yelled from the mountaintops, whether it's the Halo show or the Witcher show, if you have something that was popular, that struck a chord with millions of people, it's probably not the wisest idea to take that IP and then gut it for what made it fun and made it enjoyable to so many people and then retool it and change it for this modern audience marketing bullshit in the end does not work clearly does not work you have to have the elements that made it popular for that audience and then yes you can add in things or change a few things alter a few things to make it a little bit more accessible for everyone else but don't change the core of what made it popular. The first season of this show was a disaster. It was bad. There were some good fight scenes. The special effects and the armor design were pretty decent. But that was it. The acting, the writing was awful. Master Cheeks, obviously. And then the second season, while yes, they definitely made some improvements, they still made the same colossal idiot mistakes. And I just don't feel bad for any of the creative team. I don't feel bad for Pablo. I do feel bad for the people who worked on set. I do feel bad for the post-production teams. And it's not the only related Halo cancellation. Apparently, Axis Studios, the cinematic company behind the cinematics for Halo 5 and Halo Infinite, just got shut down a couple of days ago. That's 162 people were laid off, which I mean, I'm not surprised that 343 would outsource cinematics because they can't even do the game themselves, right? Like if you guys want to go down a rabbit hole, you should be looking at a lot of the updates that have been coming out uh, from leaks of how 343 operates in the last while. Like anytime you think this company can't be any worse, they just keep digging themselves a different grave. But I feel bad for Axis Studios. It was apparently the largest animation company in Scotland. So that, that really sucks. Just a tragedy that once again, a video game IP was taken by a bunch of tools, retooled, and then destroyed. And the only people they have to blame is themselves. And I don't know if they actually will. I really hope that Steve Kane and the other guy who was the, the co-showrunner don't get work on this level ever again because they have proved that they're fucking idiots. Just feel bad for the people who have lost jobs now that aren't part of the creative process this show did have accurate looking armor it did have accurate guns it did have accurate um like establishments of places at least in name it just kept on mucking it up and what sucks too is in season two they almost got the spartan threes right they almost did and to be honest there's a few cliffhangers that ended at season two that i was going to be very curious to see how they handled. Like, I don't know how they were going to handle the flood being on ships and not being able to get to Earth and just that whole idiocy of writing. It was a, well done. I thought it was cool, but at the same time, the more you thought about it, it's like, this is really stupid. I was curious to see how they were going to do the Covenant Civil War, considering the Arbiter got killed at the end of Season 2. I was curious how they were going to handle the ring, considering they finally got to it. At the end of season two, they had such a rife amount of stuff that they could have used. They had the games, obviously. They had the books, obviously, but they just decided not to. I really kind of point the finger, obviously, at Bonnie, but also at Frank O'Connor. 
Like that guy was just such a simpleton idiot with Halo. And he was one of the main people who signed off on this show. That dumbass deserves a dunce imprinted in his head. And a lot of the higher ups at 343 and Microsoft who decided that this was the way to go all deserve the dunce stamp on their heads. Those are my thoughts about it. Curious is what you guys have to say. What do you guys think of the show? Are you sad it's gone? What are your thoughts about it? I, I just wanted to talk about it because I'm just not surprised. Once again, another video game product ruined by people who do not understand what made them popular in the first place. A story as old as time. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.